Getting the best hands presented by EA Sports Madden NFL 18. Four receivers, two from each conference, will catch a series of passes at a sequence of targets downfield. This will happen as quickly as possible. The designated targets require a specific style of catch, as you'll see as they go. The receiver with the fastest time wins the individual challenge, and his conference is awarded the one point. And, Matt, pressure on both the receiver, it is best hands, but also these quarterbacks, starting with Jared Goff. If you don't make a good throw, he can't catch the ball. Absolutely. This is the most teamwork that you'll see in all these events. I mean, the receiver can't do his job unless the quarterback's on point. You want that one-handed throw to be a high ball. It's a lot easier to catch when it's above your shoulder. That was the sideline catch. There's a line on the field simulating the sideline. This is over the shoulder. Oh, my God. That was apparently not over the shoulder. They were very easy with the interpretation of over the shoulder last year. They're going to tighten it up this year. And talking to the quarterbacks, that was the throw that they felt was going to be the toughest throw. Again, on the one-handers, get that ball up, help the guy out. This is new this year. Nine-foot wall. They have to throw it above the wall in the throw and catch obviously have to be timed perfectly. Sideline catch okay. again. We'll take it. They circle back to the oh, beginning. 13 targets in all. It's going to end with a diving catch, and that's a new wrinkle from a year ago. And, and fatigue sets in in this drill. I did this, I actually did this course yesterday with a, with a kid in the Yankees farm system. And I'll tell you what, Sean, we were both tired by the end of it. Well, you're well past your athletic prime. <laughs> These guys are still in it. Devontae Adams, the Packers' leading receiver this year with 74 oh. catches, needed only one try at the diving catch, and that could be key because he would have had to get up, go back out, and dive again, and that's a time killer. A minute 16.2, the time for Devontae Adams of the NFC. That was pretty tough right there. That looked like a good over-the-shoulder catch, and they waved it off. Well, just for consistency, we don't know what a catch is in the NFL. We don't know what an over-the-shoulder <laughs> catch is here at the Skills Challenge. Goff happy he should. That looked like a pretty solid performance. Bad call by the ref on that one. An over-the-shoulder. Told me my feet was off. No about all that, but we... We'll see what happened, though. Alex Smith of Kansas City will be his quarterback. Alex threw to the winner of this event last year, Jarvis Landry of the Dolphins. Yep. Hmm. Well, they ruled that a catch. NFC Legends coach is already upset. Well, that, that catch did not survive the ground there, Sean. <laughs> is that an over-the-shoulder catch? Yes, a diving over-the-shoulder catch. And a nice one. That's a juggle. I'll tell you what, they're giving him everything. He'll lick the glove technique work for him there, Sean. <laughs> Over the nine-foot wall, both teams executed that very well. No. Go, go, go! They said that wasn't a sideline catch. So Wrong sideline. Like a better catch than the last one when he juggled it falling across the oh, sideline. Over the shoulder, use your own interpretation here, apparently. It's a hard one. It's a 30-yard throw, the longest for Alex Smith, and they are now running out of time. Minute 16.2, the time posted by Devontae Adams. Has to be a one-handed catch, and you cannot trap it against your body. Hey, this is just proof that fatigue is real, and it is set in. These are two of the greatest in the game. Keenan Allen, for sure, can't seem to get a one-handed catch. What well, is it going to matter now? This is just for his own amusement and for that of this big crowd that's packed into ESPN's Wide World of Sports. <laughs> I told you, Sean, the fatigue, the fatigue is real. <laughs> he will not complete. This competition did not have the diving catch and has no desire to get back up and try that again. The clock, however, continues to run. I don't know how it'll go into the record books. DNF. Yeah, or infinity. Maybe like, come back next year. It's like will. the Olympics when someone comes out of the track and helps someone who's struggling finish the finish line. Oh, I think he's going to go back. Now, come this on, is man. what a performance. This, this is, is so courageous along the it's lines of... Willis Reed. 
<laughs> Whoops. You need a little altitude at the start of that mat. You think when you just run into the beginning of it and fall on your face before you get to that line. That is Next competitor for the NFC in the best hands competition, Michael Thomas of the New Orleans Saints. The first Saints receiver to be selected to the Pro Bowl since Joe Horn in 2004. Russell Wilson will throw the passes, and he needs to be more precise than he was in the precision passing when he was not precise at all. Well, he's a competitor. I know he's been waiting for this drill ever since he didn't perform so well in the first one, but nice. he's got a nice big target to throw to here. This will be the critical throw, the over-the-shoulder catch. Too far. There it is. Nope, not deemed an over-the-shoulder catch. That one is. Now the sideline grab. Well done. One hand. One hand. One hand was a big problem for right. Keenan Allen, not for Thomas. Off to a terrific start as he now reverses the course. And like we saw with Keenan Allen, the fatigue setting in is absolutely a factor for these guys on the way back. Michael Thomas, the nephew Bye -bye. of our colleague Keyshawn Johnson. One hand. Time to beat of his teammate Devontae Adams is a minute, 16.2. And he is going to smash that. Terrific diving catch. 102 flat for Michael Thomas. 196 catches in his first two NFL seasons for Thomas. That is the NFL record for most catches in his first two years. And very impressive in his first go-round in the best hands competition. Very impressive and no surprise. Measured 10 and a half size hands at, coming out of Ohio State. Only one drop this entire season on 144 targets, so he made it look easy. The entire course, front and back, well done. Landry coming up next, the time to beat. One minute, two seconds. Well, last year, with Alex Smith throwing to him, his time was 52.6. It was a shorter and easier course. You didn't have the wall to leap over, and you didn't have the diving catch at the finish. But he just did beat the time of Odell Beckham Jr., one of his best friends and college teammate who ran out to tackle him after he finished in 52.6, just ahead of Beckham's 52.8. Will we have that kind of drama again this year? No doubt one of the biggest moments of his life, Sean, right here. One hand catch with a throw from Derek Carr, no problem. Good sideline etiquette there as well. Now the always interesting over the shoulder. Sideline again. Flawless execution so far. These two fellow second round picks back in the 2014 draft. Probably not the first time they've played catch together even though they're not regular teammates. Third Pro Bowl for Jarvis Landry. Uh, my bad. Dolphins wide receiver to earn three or more Pro Bowl selections. The great Paul Warfield, Mark Clayton, five each. Mark Duper with three. That one's good. Carr critiquing his own throws. You better hustle up, though, Sean. Under 10 seconds to go now. And the dive! No! Can he get back up? He's not going to be able to do it. By the time he gets back up, he says he has it. The officials say no. And Jarvis Landry is not going to defend his title, although there could be some controversy here. Well, this was it. He had to have it on the first try. There wasn't time for another, and clearly he did not make the catch. We did not need to go back to New York for a replay.